for all supporters. If you haven't, like, comment, share, subscribe for updates. What's up, y'all? Just want to cover a story that some of you may know and may not have known. I'm going to be covering the story behind who is the Grim Reaper in Bone Thugs and Harmony's Crossroads. I'm going to be speaking on the actor itself and what really led up to this him being in this video eventually and just a lot more don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit that bell to get notified every time i upload a dope video without further ado let's get into it so throughout the years this one bone thugs and harmony video has been one of the most played the most talked about video in history as well as a lot of people a lot of bone fans they have said in comment sections they have made it clear that throughout being a kid and their childhood this video has also gave billions of people nightmares has caused them childhood trauma and this video has done a lot besides give a message the more noticeable thing that people have always pointed out is the grim reaper of course the grim reaper he's in the video taking souls and he just walks around every time he comes and walks around or he appears something happens whether it's death or he takes him himself and just that alone this tall bald head guy he scared a lot of kids even me as growing up watching this video i'm going to get into who this guy is that's behind it all so the man behind all this his name is Eric Allen Mansker Jr. He was born on January 14th, 1947 in Chicago, Illinois. He's had a long list of cameo appearances. He's done a lot of movies as such as Shaft, Open Fire, Chance Against the Law, True Romance, Red Heat, Leprechaun in the Hood, Three Ninjas Knuckle Up, and Bounty Tractor and a long list of others. He started working in the industry as a background extra in the late 1970s with appearances in horror films. Masker turned into stunts and worked as a stunt performer in 1989 and he worked on a lot of films throughout this time period. How Mr. Masker got into being in this Crossroads video is because Ruthless Records, this was already about the time that Easy e already had passed and there was a lot of turmoil and controversy going on within the record label itself. Therefore, like I said in the last video of the covering of the Crossroads story, once Easy e passed, the crew that was there, like the management and the staff, all his original staff, people that was running Ruthless Records, they were fired and disappeared and here comes in a new group of people that was starting to run Ruthless Records. Now, East 99, had already been released it was selling off the charts and bone thugs was the biggest act on ruthless records it was alleged that throughout this time period the previous artists that was on ruthless records were dropped and bone thugs was the only play or act that was still signed to ruthless records and was never let go until further notice there was initially an original version to crossroads as i stated before that sampled the video game and that was a very good version in my opinion but after Easy e died Bone Thugs came back together with the producer DJ Unique and they came up with the idea man we need to remix this our mentors died many more people that we've known have passed on and we just need to do a, a brand new remix and put this thing out so they did the remix track Crossroads that sampled Isley Brothers. Once they finished it, they put it out and the world went crazy. Ruthless Records decided to put some money behind some music videos. Crossroads was one of those videos that they made. So, the music video was directed by legendary director Michael Martin. And as stated before, Crazy Bone did state that when it came to the music and all that studio, they were behind all that. But when it came to the coordination and the music videos and the directing and all that, that was a record label. So, 
the record label started coming up with different ideas based on the lyrics from Crossroads and they came up with this idea of depicting life and death. They came up with the idea of having a Grim Reaper throughout the video coming, taking souls and and was later revealed as an angel. And so they brought the ideas to Bone Thugs and they agreed. So they started working on the Crossroads video and they hired so many people, so many extras, stunt people and all that part of this music video. Some of the noticeable cameos which feature the legendary group Trey, that song Mary Don't You Weep in the beginning of the video, Boogie Nights, and Tony Tone from the Poetic Hustlers and Ken Dog. And so Ruthless Records set out for auditions for somebody to come play the Grim Reaper, or as Wishbone called him, Mr. Death, in this short 1996 clip interview that he did with MTV. You know, we had to go back and do something because with all the success, it was a lot of deaths and things like that. The whole concept just fit the song so good that we knew it was just, you know, the thing to do. The spiritual part of it with the angels and uh, how deep it got with uh, Mr. Death. That was really the easiest video we ever shot. It didn't take long. We only took a couple of takes and it was over, you know. It's like something that was meant to be. They set out auditions and Eric Mansker wound up being the person that they chose to play the Grim Reaper. They gave him directions on what to do, how to act, and they gave him this description of what to wear and all that. So, Eric Mansker, he did it. He did the video. And me personally, I would have loved to see some behind the scenes footage showing him talking about him being in the video behind the scenes footage of putting like the makeup the clothes and the wardrobe and all that but of course mtv won't be showing that no time soon all of that is in the vault and probably will never see the light of day this video let alone probably took a week to shoot if not longer regarding as to like the editing and whatnot and the green screens and all that but it took some very hard work to put this video together they showed him and gave him different things of what to do in this certain moments like okay we're gonna set you in this alley you're just gonna walk up slow open your jacket and we're gonna after we finish film this we're gonna edit it and put like some some white light we're gonna have this stunt guy here raise up walk towards you and we're gonna stop film you're gonna move out the way and then come back in the picture close your jacket and whatnot and do all that as such and they were just guiding him on how to play this character when i tell you there are certain people in this world they do certain things in, in music videos and movies that that will forever live on and will forever be talked about eric masker playing this character has been talked about for decades and decades is people that still comment up under the, the video talking about he's scared to shit out of him as kids and and this character has always been the main topic when you're talking about music videos and shit that creeps you out when the video was finished and edited it was dropped and mtv premiered it went number one bone thugs won best music video awards on mtv they won an award for best music video this was in 1996-1997 and a little more time after this Eric Mansker wound up being in The Leprechaun but just to backtrack just a little bit after he done this for the Crossroads video and did that character I noticed that Ruthless did not credit him as being in this video I did a lot of research when it was brought to my attention when I did the last review video, somebody pointed out, a Bone Thugs fan pointed out that Eric Masker, this is the guy who played the Grim Reaper. If you go back and look, he's the guy who was Ice T's bodyguard in the Leprechaun. And I started freaking out. I was like, what? The Leprechaun? 
I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the movie. And as so, I seen this dude as Ice-T's bodyguard, and I compared his character looks from the Leprechaun and Crossroads, and I was so blown away because I'm like, well, there's no credits shown of him being in this music video or whatnot. But I'm pretty sure that Ruthless Records probably probably wasn't even thinking about giving him credit him as being in the video or not like that because back then people being credit for characters in music videos wasn't really a thing therefore moving on in 2000 he wound up being in the leprechaun playing ice t's bodyguard and i never noticed he was there until somebody pointed it out like i said just a little while earlier and after that he did a lot of more stunt work with for other for other movies and whatnot and did a lot of more work but then we saw no more from eric masker just some time back in 2019 the man himself eric masker died of cancer on april 7th 2019 at the age of 72 this wasn't really broadcast on the big screens of course i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure if the people would have we just went back and really looked and paid attention like oh this is the guy who played as the grim reaper in crossroads of course that would have made headlines and of sort but if you are a real fan you would have known that or you would have just looked it up if somebody brought it to your attention like it was brought to mine but yeah i just want to do this video to put the pieces back to the puzzle that probably billions of people was probably confused and like who's the guy who's playing the Grim Reaper man that dude is captivating he did this video so well he caused a lot of people a lot of trauma <laughs> I really wish that I or somebody would have interviewed him or because I know me if I would have probably interviewed him myself <laughs> I would have probably shitted myself or fainted because of course him playing the character in the crossroads but then i have to separate that from mr mansker but yeah i hope y'all like this video story breakdown as much as i did i have a lot of more stuff coming up i got some album reviews coming up i got busy bone heaven's movie a new updated and revamped version since my last one wasn't wasn't too good of course i was just now learning and just putting stuff together and the bone fans filled me in on a lot of stuff that i didn't know that should have been in the review so i'm gonna do do a different video cover a lot of more stuff break the album down as such and y'all just stay tuned like comment share subscribe hit that bell to get notified every time i upload a dope video and without further ado jc for the culture tv Tuning out.